hello everyone so in this module we are going to discuss about the nozzle modeling so first of all we need to require we require to bring back our equipment into the work area so uh, we'll remove this first to show you that how we are going to do this bring the members back from display icon click on members and our members will be back click on our refinery site that is temporary refinery zone and in that click on zone refinery and click on equipment RAF D1201 okay now being on this equipment click over here and that you will be giving this so now we have to model nozzle for this equipment as you could see in this diagram we are having different kind of nozzles over here one two three four five six seven and a manhole here the nozzles are having their specifications provided in this section as you could see the item numbers are here and the size and the ratings and all that so let us start our nozzle modeling from this nozzle and one see this so for nozzle modeling go to create then nozzles so uh, first of all give the name of the nozzle we will give something like refinery uh, nozzle one and now provide the nozzle type so nozzle type what is the specification of the nozzle it will be we will be getting this from this picture and uh, we will go to this nozzle specification is here our n1 nozzle is of size 80 and rating 300 plus so just go and provide it click upon a specification select 300 and nominal bore is of 80 click apply and then dismiss now attributes so first of all just see that you where your nozzle is being oriented the face of your nozzle is in which direction and what is the height so we will see our nozzle that is our nozzle number n1 our nozzle number n1 is here somewhere it is facing in the upwards direction and what is the height height will be get from this picture see this the height is from center line of this cylindrical portion towards the face of the nozzle in face of the nozzle so this is something 800 so our height will be 800 and the orientation is upwards now about the position let us see since previously our axis is situated over here in this place of our model as you can remember that so from this axis in north direction our nozzle is positioned at a distance of 508 okay so the north direction will be having 508 we have to move and in from this center axis we have to move upwards the length of 800 okay so now uh, in upward direction we have to go for 800 and in north and in north we have to go for 508 508 right click apply and then dismiss so you could see our nozzle is appearing here now from this picture as you could see nozzle n1 and n2 are of same specification from this you could see nozzle n1 is having 80 and class 300 and n2 is also having class a, class 300 and bore 80 so we could make it easily by copying this nozzle with an offset of 3832 to get our nozzle number n2 now beyond this element beyond this nozzle reference nozzle one go to create and then copy offset so as you could see in this it is showing the directions that in which direction we want to offset so if you are not getting that in which direction we have to move we have to just choose it from this picture just see this picture we have to go from this nozzle towards the left towards the left that is towards the y-axis at a distance of 3832 so just along the y-axis positive y-axis it is already feeded over here we'll give, just give it 3832 okay now click apply 
retain created copies yes we do want to retain this okay now click dismiss so here we get our nozzle number n2 but yes see how is it going to be represented it is the name is given automatically nozzle 2 so we have to change this now go to create go to modify beyond that nozzle n2 and then go to modify then click name and here we will change the name that is refinery nozzle 2 click enter and then apply and then dismiss so you could see the name has been changed now we will create the nozzle number n3 so go to create and then nozzles so nozzle number n3 refinery nozzle and it's 3 press enter now we will see the nozzle type first so n3 nozzle is somewhere here okay and its specification will be obtained from this chart so you could see the n3 is here and it's having the size 100 and rating 300 so we will just provide it first uh, rating 300 and size 100 click apply and then dismiss now we have to give the height and orientation first so our nozzle n3 is oriented in downward direction and height is 800 we will give that 800 and this will be downwards okay now about the position so we could see over here that the position is something from this portion what is the length of this nozzle that means it is 4 to 1 0 plus 360 in north direction and in downward direction it is 800 so uh, we will just go to north and that is 4 5 7 0 and in downward direction it will be 800 just check it down okay now click apply and then dismiss right so our nozzle n3 is created now is the time to create our nozzle number n4 so go to create and in the nozzles as usual click on write the name refinery nose 4 okay click enter and then nozzle type so about the specification now you could see that our nozzle number 4 is somewhere here and its specification will be obtained from this chart that is size 40 and 300 okay now size will be something 300 class and 40 apply dismiss right now about the attributes about the height and orientation so we could see this our nozzle n4 is oriented in the upward direction it is having the height of 800 give the height enter and upward now about the positions let us see the position is somewhere from this axis this is the length so it is 508 plus 3832 plus 230 that gives 4570 as the position in the north direction and in upwards it is having 800 so in north we will give 4570 and in upwards we will give 800 right click apply and then dismiss so our nozzle is created now we will create the nozzle number n5 which is here somewhere so go to create nozzle now just uh, give the name refinery nozzle 5 right click enter and about the specifications so let's see our nozzle number n5 is having 50 size bore and 300 class and all three n5 and 6 and 7 is having the same nozzle specification okay so first we will provide this n5 values like uh, we'll go to nozzle type click 300 class and this 50 apply and then dismiss so now height and attributes so what is the height of our nozzle let us see nozzle n5 is at the height of 800 and it is facing towards downwards okay height is 800 and orientation is downwards enter now about the position so let us see the position of this nozzle is from the center of the axis is this much 4210 
in the north direction and in the uh, in the downward direction it is 800 so we will just give it 4210 in north and in downward direction it is 800 just check it down and click apply dismiss here is what we have got our nozzle number n5 now we will go for the creation of nozzle number n6 so give it the name refinery nozzle n6 click enter the nozzle type is same because n5 n5 n6 and n7 is all three are having the same specification so we know we don't need to change it and now we will check for the location of this nozzle the orientation in is, is in the west direction okay and the height will be something the height will be 800 as usual and uh, now let's just see so the height the orientation is in the west direction okay height is 800 now what the position so let us see positioning is somewhere here so from north it is having 4210 and down down distance could be seen in this picture see this nozzle number n7 is located here okay and n6 n6 is here and 7 is here so, so you could see that from the center line we are having the distance of 530 okay that this means the this is the downward portion so we will go to this and uh, we'll check it west first because in west direction it is coming by 800 and in north it's uh, 4210 and in downward direction it is 530 okay so now click apply and then dismiss here we got our nozzle number and six how we could we have given this positions we will look once again north of this is 4210 from the axis from the axis north is this much okay and regarding that downward direction we have taken this value and the west the west is something the width of this nozzle and the width is 800 so we have taken 800 towards the west so this is how we have created this nozzle number n6 now we will just copy and offset this nozzle by a distance of this much 530 plus 530 that is 1060 so be on the nozzle number n6 go to create then copy then offset now see this in this upward direction that is z axis we have to give the offset so just omit the y values and go to the z value and write it there 1060 enter okay now click apply written copies yes so here is our dismiss here is our nozzle number n7 now we have to just modify this nozzle so let us see go to modify name and it is what we have refinery nozzle 7 click enter and hence here we go our seven nozzles are created so now we have to create our manhole so let us see the manhole manhole is somewhere here and the specification of manhole is m1 450 size and 318 so go to create then nozzles it will be refinery nozzle nozzle m1 because i am going to give it m1 because it is a manhole now the type will be given um, 300 class and it will be 450 apply and then dismiss now you will give the height and orientation first so we will go to that diagram once again see this height what is the height of this nozzle from this center line the height is somewhere 380 plus 230 that means 610 is the height 610 is the height and it is located in oriented in south di axis southern direction and now the positions so let us see uh, it is towards south south oriented and from this axis it is going to southwards 
southwards direction and it is about of 610 so we will just check it here in south and we will be giving this in this uh, 610 enter now we will just apply it and here we go we got our manhole for seeing this click upon the F8 button F8 button and here we go our nozzle modeling is completed so we could use this and uh, you can see rotate it as you wish you could see easily how this is going to be now ok this has been completed nozzle modeling is completed now we will position it according to our diagram our general arrangement so positioning will be done in the next class thank you very much